Okay, thanks for watching. So before I start this setup, guys, just make sure to subscribe if you like what you see and also hit notifications. It really helps the channel out and it's also gonna give you content as I upload it. So let's get on with this setup guide. So if you've not heard of Launchbox, it's essentially a launcher to launch your retro games. So we need to link some emulators up for Launchbox to play your games, unlike something like Retrobat where most cores or emulators are already installed. So if you don't know what Launchbox is and you want to set it up, check out my guide I did a while back on setting up Launchbox for beginners. But for this, I'm going to show you how to use main games through Launchbox in the easiest possible way. So let's just go ahead and open up Launchbox. Okay, so once we're inside a launch box, all we're gonna do is go up to tools just here, and if we go down to import, next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is left click on main arcade full set. So this is just gonna tell you it's a full set wizard, and it's gonna be a really easy process. Uh, what would you like to call the arcade platform? So I'm gonna just leave this as arcade because of course MAME is arcade. I'm gonna press next. Now on this part, we need to locate where our main collection or main set is located on our computer. So just go to browse here and you point it to where your main set is located. So once you've located where your main set is, in my case, I'm using a very old main set, but this is gonna work for you regardless. So next part we need to do is actually select the full set version. So whatever version of the main set you're using, you just select the appropriate one just here. In my case, like I say, I'm using a much older set. So I'm gonna just scroll down to 0.78 and we can hit next here. Um, the best thing about this is nowadays we can get Launchbox to do the work for us. So it's gonna automatically install and configure main. So just select that one, that's highly recommended. And I highly recommend you connect into the Launchbox Games database for obvious reasons. This is going to allow you to see high scores, that type of thing, and game details. So just be sure to log into that and sign in by entering your email address and your password. And once you're signed into that, just check on Enable Launchbox High Score Leaderboards. So next. And of course we want to keep this checked, this is going to search for metadata which is going to give our games information. So it says recommended and I also recommend you to keep this one checked. So next. Now this next part is entirely up to you but this is going to be all of our cover art for our games, our main games. So just check through this list. And if there's artwork on there you don't particularly want, just uncheck it. The way I do this is if I check none, it will take all the ticks away. And from here, I can just select the artwork that I want. And just remember, if you've got a small hard drive, some of these is gonna take up a hell of a lot of space. So I'm gonna just select box 3D and box back for now, for example. And we also want to leave this checks just here, remove roughly matched duplicate images. So next. Then your next option here is to configure MU Movies. So this is going to give you more media for your games. So how they look, how they present themselves, preview videos, that type of thing. So if we just go to configure MU Movies, again, you can type in your user ID and your password and press OK. And that will set you up with MU Movies through Launchbox. Okay, so next. Our next option here is to download bezels. So if you're unaware what bezels are, uh, they will cover the side of your screen. So most games for MAME are in an old school four by three ratio. So rather than having the black lines on each side, bezels are gonna obscure that by putting something more glossy on the side, as you can see here or like this one. So just imagine your game being in the middle just there. So that's entirely up to you if you want to download bezels. I'm gonna just keep that selected for now and I'm gonna press next. 
Now, as we know, main sets have a hell of a lot of clones of different games, uh, Space Invaders, Pac-Man for, for example. So what we need to do here is entirely optional. We can skip clones and this is going to be a process of launch box filtering out those clones which you don't want. Below this just here, we're going to see a range of different options, games, types and features. So most games in MAME are junk, you know, you're going to have prototype games you don't particularly want, hacked games, uh, tabletop games, fruit machine games, uh, you name it. So personally, I would suggest you check all of these and press next. In our next part, it's going to be controller support. So we can check these. So if you've got a spinner, you might want to keep this one unchecked. If you don't have a spinner, which is like a little metal round cylinder type thing, you can control games like Marvel Mania with Mar Marvel Madness, is it? Uh, you know, that's entirely up to you what we do just here. And the next section is to create playlists. So what this can do for you is create special playlists for genres of games, vertical and horizontal games. So I recommend you leaving all these checks for now and press next. And this next section is now just finding the full main set to find the games to import as it says. So once that process is finished, you are next going to see your games in a very cut down version. So no longer are you seeing double, triple of the same game. Everything is nicely compressed. So from here, I'm just going to hit finish. And if we check at the bottom here, it's refreshing local metadata from the Launchbox Games database, which is mean it's now finding your information for your games for Launchbox. So just let this part run. And as we can see now, it's now importing our game collection, our main set, into Launchbox. So just let this continue doing what it's doing. And since we selected to download artwork, it's now downloading artwork for my games. And this is going to download different perspectives of the cover art. So 3D, cartridges, CDs, or whatever it is you've selected. It's going to download this just here as we can see. And bear in mind, the more styles of artwork you download or you select on the setup, the more this is going to hog out your hard drive. So just be aware of that. So just let this part run its course and it's going to take a little while, but it's going to be worth it. OK, so once that process is finished, you're good to go pretty much. It's just a case of double left clicking on the game you own and it's going to boot up. So initially it's going to initialize and that's going to take a little bit of time. As we know, we set up or installed the emulator for this just a minute ago. So a few other things you might be interested in knowing about. So if we got to image group, we can display this box art in different formats. So for example, I chose 3D boxes in terms of downloading cover art and I've got 3D boxes now displaying. If I was to download something else during that process, such as backgrounds, we'd have background art and so on for clear logos as well. You have logos for some of these games. And let me just let you know that not all of these are going to download, but a good majority of them likely will. Something else you might be interested in knowing about is if you want a smaller version of this, so it's not so big on your screen, if we just go to view, and list we've then got a more concise clear view of what we've got so that is about it for now and of course if you want to open these up on big box we just go here and launch it with big box but as you can see i'm using the free version of this for now and of course you've also got the arcade symbol now appear on the left hand side so that's about it, that's your basic setup guys for getting MAME up and running on Launchbox in 2023. Can I just remind you watching this that I'm on different social media platforms where I update daily. So I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. I'm also on Buy Me A Coffee, check out my tiers on that for membership. So anyways, until next time, stay retro.